The French Communist Party French, Parti Communiste Français, PCF, French pronunciation, Parti Communiste FS is a communist party in France. Although its electoral support has declined in recent decades, the PCF retains a strong influence in French politics, especially at the local level. In 2012, the PCF claimed 138,000 members including 70,000 who have paid their membership fees. This would make it the third largest party in France in terms of membership after the Republicans LR and the Socialist Party PS. Founded in 1920 by the majority faction of the Socialist French Section of the Workers' International SFIO, it participated in three governments in the Provisional Government of the Liberation 1944 to 1947 at the beginning of François Mitterrand's presidency 1981 to 1984 and in the plural left cabinet led by Lionel Jospin 1997 to 2002 it was also the largest party on the left in France in a number of national elections from 1945 to 1960 before falling behind the Socialist Party in the 1970s the PCF has lost further ground to the socialists since that time since 2009 the PCF has been a leading member of the left front front de gauche alongside Jean-Luc Mélenchon's left party PG during the 2017 presidential election, the PCF supported Mélenchon's candidature, however, tensions between the PCF and Mélenchon's movement, La France Insoumise, have led the two movements to campaign separately for the general elections. The PCF is a member of the Party of the European Left, and its MEPs sit in the European United Left Nordic Green Left Group. History The French Communist Party PCF originated in 1920, when a majority of members resigned from the Socialist French Section of the Workers' International SFIO Party to set up the French Section of the Communist International SFIC, with Ludovic Oscar Frossard as its first Secretary General. Ho Chi Minh, liberator of Vietnam, was one of the notable agitators who participated in its creation. The new SFIC defined itself as revolutionary and democratic centralist. The 1920s saw a number of splits within the party over relations with other left-wing parties and over adherence to Comintern's dictates. The party entered the French parliament, but also promoted strike action and opposed colonialism. Pierre Saymard, leader from 1924 to 1928, sought party unity and alliances with other parties, but leaders including Maurice Thorez party leader from 1930 to 1964 imposed a Stalinist line from the late 1920s. With the rise of fascism after 1934 the PCF supported the Popular Front, which came to power under Léon Blum in 1936. The party supported the Spanish Republicans, and opposed the 1938 Munich Agreement with Hitler. The party was banned by the government of Édouard Daladier center -left as a result of the German-Soviet non-aggression pact, due to its membership in the Comintern, which opposed the war prior to the invasion of the Soviet Union by Nazi Germany. The leadership, threatened with execution, fled abroad. After the German invasion of 1940 the party began to organize opposition to the occupation. Shortly before Germany invaded the Soviet Union the next year, the PCF formed, in May 1941, the National Front movement within the broader resistance, together with the Armed Franks Tirers et Partisans FTP group. At the same time the PCF began to work with de Gaulle's Free France government in exile, and later took part in the National Council of the Resistance CNR. By the time the German occupation ended in 1944, the party had become a powerful force in many parts of France. It was among the leading parties in elections in 1945 and 1946, and entered into the governing tripartite alliance, which pursued social reforms and statism. However, amid concerns within France and abroad over the extent of communist influence, the PCF was excluded from government in May 1947. Under pressure from Moscow, the PCF thereafter distanced itself from other parties and focused on agitation within its trade union base. For the rest of the Fourth Republic period the PCF, led by Thorez and Jacques de Close, remained politically isolated, still taking a Stalinist line, though retaining substantial electoral support. Although the PCF opposed de Gaulle's formation of the Fifth Republic in 1958, the following years saw a rapprochement with other left-wing forces and an increased strength in Parliament. 
With Waldeck Rochet as its new secretary general, the party supported François Mitterrand's unsuccessful presidential bid in 1965. During the student riots and strikes of May 1968, the party supported the strikes while denouncing the revolutionary student movements. After heavy losses in the ensuing parliamentary elections, the party adopted Georges Marchais as leader and in 1973 entered into a «common program» alliance with Mitterrand's reconstituted Socialist Party PS. Under the common program, however, the PCF steadily lost ground to the PS, a process that continued after Mitterrand's victory in 1981. Initially allotted a minor share in Mitterrand's government, the PCF resigned in 1984 as the government turned towards fiscal orthodoxy. Under Marche the party largely maintained its traditional communist doctrines and structure. Extensive reform was undertaken after 1994, when Robert Hugh became leader. This did little to stem the party's declining popularity, although it entered government again in 1997 as part of the plural left coalition. Elections in 2002 gave worse results than ever for the PCF. Under Marie-Georges Buffet, the PCF turned away from parliamentary strategy and sought broader social alliances. To maintain a presence in Parliament after 2007 the party's few remaining deputies had to join others in the Democratic and Republican Left Group GDR. Subsequently a broader electoral coalition, the Left Front FG, was formed including the PCF, the Left Party PG, United Left, and others. The FG has brought the French Communists somewhat better electoral results. Pierre Laurent was leader from 2010 to 2018. Doctrine The PCF, in contrast to weaker and more marginal communist parties in Europe, is usually seen as a left-wing rather than far-left party in the French context. While the French far-left has refused to participate in government or engage in electoral alliances with centre-left parties such as the PS, the PCF has participated in governments in the past and still enjoys a de facto electoral agreement with the PS mutual withdrawals, the common practice since 1962 and in 1934-39. Nonetheless, some observers and analysts classify the PCF as a far-left party, noting their political proximity to other far-left parties. In the 1980s, under Georges Marché, the PCF mixed a partial acceptance of «bourgeois» democracy and individual liberties with more traditional Marxist-Leninist rhetoric. During this same period, however, the PCF—still run on democratic centralist lines— still structured itself as a revolutionary party in the Leninist sense and rejected criticism of the Soviet Union. Under Robert Hughes' leadership after 1994, the PCF's ideology and internal organization underwent major changes. Hugh clearly rejected the Soviet model, and reserved very harsh criticism for Soviet leaders who had rejected, for years, human rights and bourgeois democracy, and had oppressed individual liberties and aspirations. Today, the PCF considers the Soviet Union as a perversion of the communist model and unambiguously rejects Stalinism. That being said, it has not attributed the failure of the Soviet Union as being that of communism, rather stating that the failure of Soviet socialism was the failure of one model, among others, including the capitalist or social democratic models. It also tried to downplay the PCF's historic attachment to Moscow and the Soviet Union. Since then, the PCF's ideology has been marked by significant ideological evolution on some topics but consistency on other issues. Some of the most marked changes have come on individual rights and immigration. After having vilified homosexuality and feminism as the rubbish of capitalism in the 1970s, the PCF now fully supports both gay rights and feminism. In the 1980s, the PCF supported reducing the age of consent for homosexual relationships and opposed attempts to repenalize homosexuality. In 1998, the PCF voted in favor of the Civil Solidarity Pact PACs, civil unions including homosexual couples. The PCF currently supports both same-sex marriage and same-sex adoption. On 12 February 2013, PCF deputies voted in favor of same-sex marriage and adoption rights in the National Assembly. However, one PCF deputy, Patrice Carvalho, voted against. The PCF also supports feminist movements and supports policies to further promote gender equality and parity. 
On the issue of immigration, the PCF's positions have also evolved significantly since the 1980s. In the 1981 presidential election, Georges Marchais ran a controversial campaign on immigration which was harshly criticized by anti-racism organizations at the time. In 1980, the PCF's leadership voted in favor of limiting immigration. The same year, Marche supported the PCF mayor of Vitry sur Seine who had destroyed a home for Malian migrant workers. The PCF claimed that the right wing government was trying to push immigrants into ghettos in communist working class cities. The Liberation newspaper also alleged that PCF municipal administrations had been working to limit the number of immigrants in housing projects. Today, however, the PCF supports the regularization of illegal immigrants. One consistency in the PCF's ideology has been its staunch opposition to capitalism, which must be overcome, because, according to the PCF, the capitalist system is exhausted and on the verge of collapse. The PCF has interpreted the current course of globalization as a confirmation of Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels's view on the future evolution of capitalism. The party feels that the financial crisis of 2007-2008 and the Great Recession have further justified its calls to overcome capitalism. However, the PCF has remained somewhat vague on how capitalism will be overcome and what will replace it, placing heavy emphasis on utopic models or values. The text adopted at the 36th Congress in February 2013 reiterated the party's call on the need to overcome capitalism, fiercely denounced by the PCF as having led to savage competition, the devastation of the planet, and barbarism. It contrasts its vision of capitalism with its proposed alternative, described as an egalitarian, humanist, and democratic alternative. It emphasizes human emancipation, the development of each and every one, the right to happiness and the equal dignity of each human being regardless of gender, race or sexual orientation. The party further posits that such an egalitarian society is impossible within capitalism, which unleashes domination and hatred. Topic 2012 platform. Jean-Luc Mélenchon and the FG's platform in the 2012 presidential election was broken up into nine overarching themes. Sharing the wealth and abolishing social insecurity. Banning market-based layoffs for companies which make profits, raise the minimum wage to €1,700, setting a maximum wage differential of 1 to 20 in all businesses, right to retirement with a full pension at 60, defending public services, stopping public sector spending cuts setting a maximum wage at €360,000, 35 hours workweek. Reclaiming power from banks and financial markets. Changing the European Central Bank's policy to favor job creation and public services, controlling financial speculation, raising the capital gains tax and the solidarity tax on wealth (ISF), abolishing fiscal loopholes and privileges, taxing corporations' financial revenues, creating a public financial poll to reorient credit towards jobs, innovation and sustainable development. Ecological planning Nationalizing Électricité de France, Gaz de France and Areva to create a publicly owned energy sector, creating a national public water service, a new transportation policy promoting public transportation and taxing the transportation of non-vital merchandise. Producing differently. A new model of development and economic growth which respects the environment and individuals, redefining industrial priorities, new rights for employees, creating a gross national happiness indicator. The Republic, for real. Reaffirming the 1905 French law on the separation of the churches and the state, creating a ministry for women and equality, repealing the HADOPI law, regularizing illegal immigrants, opposition to the golden rule of fiscal balance, creating jobs in the public sector. Convene a constituent assembly for the Sixth Republic. Convening a constituent assembly, repealing the 2010 local and regional government reform, proportional representation in all elections, reducing presidential powers and strengthening parliamentary powers, guaranteeing judicial and press freedom. Repealing the Lisbon Treaty and creating another Europe. Repealing the Treaty of Lisbon, opposition to the European Fiscal Compact, proposing and adopting a new European treaty which would prioritize social progress and democracy, reforming the statutes of the European Central Bank. 
to change the course of globalization. Withdrawing French troops from the war in Afghanistan, French withdrawal from NATO, recognizing the independence of a Palestinian state within 1967 borders, creation of a Tobin tax to finance international development and cooperation, debt forgiveness for low-income countries. Prioritizing human emancipation. Creating jobs in public education, spending 1% of GDP on arts and culture, doubling investment in research. The platform also supported same-sex marriage, same-sex adoption, voting rights for resident foreigners, euthanasia, and constitutional recognition of abortion. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> French nationalism. The French Communist Party inherited from the Jacobins the concept of France as a centralized, French-speaking, unitary state, with a unitary culture and it is opposed to the separatism and regional identity of other European minority groups native to the area of what consists the French Republic. For instance in 1984, the Soviet ethnographer Solomon Bruck who had worked under Sergei Tolstov published a study on France and mentioned the existence of other ethnic groups in the state such as Bretons, Corsicans, Alsatians, Basques, Catalans, Flemish and others. In response to this work, General Secretary Georges Marchais wrote a letter of protest in February 1984, complaining bitterly to the Secretariat of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. France is one country, one nation, one people. We protest indignantly against such ridiculous and odious allegations. For us, as for all the citizens of our country, every man and woman of French nationality is French. Every attempt using hazardous criteria which borders on racism in an ill-defined way, seeking to define as not purely French such and such members of the French community, is offensive to the national consciousness. Nobody here can accept that, our party least of all. Topic. Elected officials Deputies, Alain Bocquet, Marie-Georges Buffet, Jean-Jacques Candelier, André Chassain, Jacqueline Frace, Nicolas Sansou, Gabi Chirou, Patrice Carvalho GDR Group. Senators, Eliane Assassi, Marie-France Beaufils, Michel Billout, Dominique Watron, Annie David, Michel Demessine, Eveline Didier, Guy Fischer, Thierry Foucault, Brigitte Gonthier-Morin, Pierre Laurent, Gérard Le Cam, Cécile Kukierman, Isabelle Pasquet, Éric Bocquet, Marais Church, Lawrence Cohen, Christian Favier, Michel Le Scournets, CRC Group. MEPs, Patrick La Heyerich, Jackie Ennen Aul NGL Group. The PCF has two presidents of the General Council, in the Val de Marne and Allier. It lost Seine Saint Denis, which it had held since the 1960s, to the PS in 2008. <laughs> <laughs> Internal organization The PCF has traditionally been a mass party although Maurice Doverger had differentiated it from other mass parties because the PCF kept a tight control over membership and regularly expelled unsuitable members. In its heyday, the PCF maintained a large base of members and the party's political and electoral actions were supported in society by a trade union, the General Confederation of Labour a newspaper, La Humanité, and a large number of front organizations or associations in civil society which organized a large number of political or non-political social activities for PCF members. One such activity which still exists today is the annual Fête de la Humanité organized by the La Humanité. French and foreign left-wing parties, organizations or movements are represented and the activities feature musical performances. Since the PCF's decline began in the 1970s, however, it has seen its membership base slowly dry up and its allied organizations disappear or distance themselves from the party. The PCF claimed 520,000 members in 1978, 330,000 in 1987, 270,000 in 1996, and 133,000 in 2002. In 2008, the party claimed that it had 134,000 members of which 79,000 were up to date on their membership fees. In the 2011 internal primary, 69,277 members were registered to vote and 48,631 did so. 
The party likely has about 70,000 members as of today, but only about 40 to 50,000 seem to actively participate in the party's organization and political activities. According to studies by the CEVIPOF in 1979 and 1997, the makeup of the PCF's membership has also changed significantly since 1979. The most marked change was a major decline in the share of manual workers in the party's membership, with a larger number of employees and middle classes, especially those who work in the public sector. The form of political action taken by members has also changed, with less emphasis on direct political or electoral action but a greater emphasis on social work and protests. The party's structures were democratized at the 1994 Congress, dropping democratic centralism and allowing for the public expression of disapproval or dissent with the party line or leadership. The party's top posts, like that of Secretary General, were renamed Secretary General became National Secretary. The party, since 2000, is now led by a national council, which serves as the leadership between congresses, and the executive committee, which is charged with applying the national council's decisions. The national secretary is elected by delegates at the congress. Likewise, the national council is elected by list voting at every congress. A reform of statutes in 2001 has allowed alternative texts. Dissent from the text proposed by the PCF leadership, to be presented and voted on, dissident lists to those backed by the leadership may also run for the National Council. The General Confederation of Labor CGT was dominated by the PCF after 1946, with all its leaders between 1947 and 1996 Benoit Frachin, Alain Laleop, Georges Segai, Henri Krizuki, Louis Vinette also serving in the PCF's national leadership structures. For years, the CGT and the PCF were close and almost indissociable allies, notably in May 1968 when both the CGT and PCF were eager for a restoration of social order and welcomed the Grinnell Agreements. While the CGT has remained the largest trade union in France, it has taken its independence vis a vis the PCF. Louis Vinette spectacularly quit the National Bureau of the PCF in 1996, and Bernard Thibault, the CGT's leader between 1999 and 2013, left the PCF's National Council in 2001. La Humanite has retained closer ties with the PCF. The newspaper was founded by Jean Jaurès in 1904 as the socialist movement's mouthpiece, and it followed the communist majority following the split in 1920. After having been the official newspaper of the PCF, with a readership of up to 100,000 in 1945, the newspaper's readership and sales declined substantially partly due to the PCF's concomitant decline. In 1999, the mention of the newspaper's link to the PCF was dropped and the PCF no longer determines its editorial stance. It sold an average of 46,929 newspapers per day in 2012, down from 53,530 in 2007. Leadership <inaudible> <inaudible> Secretaries General 1921 to 1994 and National Secretaries since 1994 Ludovic Oscar Frossard the 4th of January 1921 to the 1st of January 1923 Louis Sellier and Albert Trained Interim Secretaries General the 21st of January 1923 to the 23rd of January 1924 Louis Sellier, the 23rd of January 1924 to the 1st of July 1924. Pierre Semard, the 8th of July 1924 to the 8th of April 1929. Collective Secretariat: Henri Barbet, Pierre Seller, Benoit Frachin, Maurice Thorez, the 8th of April 1929 to the 18th of July 1930. Maurice Thorez, the 18th of July 1930 to the 17th of May 1964. President between the 17th of May and his death on the 11th of July 1964. Jacques Declos, interim secretary general, the 17th of June 1950 to the 10th of April 1953. Waldeck Rochet, the 17th of May 1964 to the 17th of December 1972. Deputy secretary general from the 14th of May 1961 to the 17th of May 1964. Georges Marchais, Interim Secretary General later Deputy Secretary General from June 1969 to 17 December 1972 
Georges Marchais, the 17th of December 1972 to the 29th of January 1994. Robert Hugh, the 29th of January 1994 to the 28th of October 2001, president between the 28th of October 2001 and the 8th of April 2003. Marie George Buffet, the 28th of October 2001 to the 20th of June 2010. Pierre Laurent, the 20th of June 2010 to the 24th of November 2018. Fabian Roussel, since the 24th of November 2018. Topic: <laughs> Factions. There are no formal organized factions or political groupings within the PCF. This was originally due to the practice of democratic centralism, but even after the democratization of the PCF structure after 1994 the ban on the organization of formal factions within the party remained. According to party statutes, the PCF supports the pluralism of ideas, but the right to pluralism may not be translated into an organizations of tendencies. Nevertheless, certain factions and groups are easily identifiable within the PCF and they are de facto expressed officially by different orientation texts or lists for leadership elections at party congresses. Majority, the current leadership of the PCF since 2003 around Marie-Georges Buffet and Pierre Laurent, the party majority supports the continued existence of the PCF but with the need for internal transformations. Vis-a-vis -vis the PS, the PCF leadership has taken a more autonomous stance but it still sees the PS as a potential electoral partner in runoff elections or in local elections and even as a potential governing partner. The leadership has been generally strongly supportive of the left front alliance with other parties, which it sees as a new popular front. As a culmination of its attempts, undertaken since 2003, to broaden the PCF's base to social movements, associations, unions and other left-wing or far-left parties. Orthodox, the heterogeneous faction of PCF. Orthodox refers to those traditionalist members who opposed the mutation of the 1990s and wish to return to Marxist-Leninist fundamentals. The Orthodox faction opposes electoral alliances or governing coalitions with the PS, and it has also proven fairly lukewarm to the left front and has often been critical of Jean-Luc Mélenchon's influence over the FG and his 2012 candidacy. Unlike the majority which supports European integration under the form Social Europe or Another Europe, the Orthodox wish to withdraw from the European Union and the Eurozone. Prominent Orthodox factions and leaders include Jean-Jacques Carmen's Communist Left, Emmanuel Dang Trans PCF section in the 15th arrondissement of Paris, André Guérin, Alain Bocquet and Patrice Carvalho. The PCF Orthodox factions has strong support in the old PCF federations in northern France Nord Pas de Calais, Somme, Seine-Maritime or other federations such as the Mert et Moselle, the haute saône Aisne and Tarn. Some Orthodox communists have chosen to leave the PCF. In 2004, the FNARC group around Georges Hage founded the Small Pole of Communist Revival in France PRCF. Maxime Gremitz was sidelined from the PCF in 2006, after major disagreements with the leadership, and has since founded a small political movement Anger and Hope, Collier et Espoir active only in his native Picardy. A group of hardline Orthodox around former PCF Senator Roland Perlikin founded the Communistes Party. Novators, also known as Conservatives, the Novators are a small faction led by supporters of Georges Marquias's old political line, traditional Marxism adapted to modern circumstances, as developed by PCF economist and historian Paul Bikara, who developed the idea of state monopoly capitalism. Leaders of the faction include Nicolas Marchand and Yves Dimicoli. La Riposte, La Riposte is a political association within the PCF which is the French section of the International Marxist Tendency, a Trotskyist and Triest organization. They are ideologically close to the Orthodox faction on rejecting alliances with the PS or a return to Marxist fundamentals but they differ significantly from the Orthodox faction in their severe condemnations of Stalinism and the later Soviet Union. They also support the Left Front. Hawistes, the allies of former Secretary General Robert Hugh 1994 have mostly left the PCF. Hugh's leadership was marked by internal democratizations as part of his mutation, but also close cooperation and alliances with the PS. The Hawistes tend to be the most supportive of electoral and government alliances with the PS. 
Hugh remains, technically, a member of the PCF, but he has broken with the current leadership. As a senator, he sits in the European Democratic and Social Rally and leads a small political movement, the Progressive Unitary Movement which has one deputy elected in 2012 with PS support and who sits with the Radical Party of the Left group in the National Assembly. The MUP supports the creation of a broad alliance with the PS, the Greens the PRG and even some centrists. Besides Hugh, some of prominent followers include Jean-Claude Gaisso, Jack Relight or Ivan Renard. Refondateurs, Renovateurs, the reformist faction of the PCF, known either as Refondateurs or Renovateurs, has mostly left the PCF today, but they played an important role in the PCF's internal politics for decades and they continue to be closely associated to the PCF through the left front. The reformist faction, ideologically aligned with the new left, Eurocommunism, ecosocialism, feminism and democratic socialism, has long been at odds with the PCF's leadership. Under Marche, they opposed the traditionalist Marxist and pro-Soviet direction of the party and chafed at the party's democratic centralism. Many dissident communist reformists supported Pierre Houquin's candidacy in the 1988 presidential election, alongside red-green ecosocialists, the remnants of the Unified Socialist Party (PSU), and the LCR. PCF dissidents who had backed Hukin's candidacy, including former cabinet ministers Marcel Rigout and Charles Fitterman participated in the foundation of the Convention for a Progressive Alternative in 1994, which has since obtained limited support only in a few departments. Jean-Pierre Brard, the CAP's sole parliamentarian until his defeat in 2012, sat with the PCF in the National Assembly. Reformists who remained within the PCF, such as Patrick Brauzek, François Asensi and Jacqueline Frace, opposed Hugh and Buffet's leadership. They did not support the PCF's presidential candidates in 2002 and 2007, and they clamored for the re-foundation of the PCF as part of a broader left-wing movements including left-wing Greens, eco-socialists, the far-left, social movements and left-wing associations. Despite the creation of the Left Front, the reformists led by Brauzek left the PCF in 2010 and joined the Small Federation for a Social and Ecological Alternative FASE, which is now a component of the Left Front. <laughs> <laughs> Factional strength Preparatory votes on orientation texts for PCF Congresses since 2003 at the 34 Congress in 2008, for the election of the National Council, the majority's list won 67.73% from the Congress's delegates against 16.38% for Marie-Pierre Vieux's Hawiste list backed by the refundators, 10.26% for André Guérin's Orthodox list and 5.64% for Nicolas Marchand's Novateur list. Popular support and electoral record Currently, the PCF retains some strength in suburban Paris, in the Nord section of the old coal mining area in the Nord Pas de Calais, the industrial harbours of Le Havre and Dieppe, in some departments of central France, such as Allier and Cher where a form of sharecropping existed, in addition to mining and small industrial mining centres such as Commentry and Monceau Les Mines, the industrial mining region of northern Meurthe et Moselle and in some cities of the south, such as the industrial areas of Marseille and nearby towns, as well as the working class suburbs surrounding Paris, the Centre Rouge, Lyon, Saint Etienne, Ailes, and Grenoble. The PCF is also strong in the Cévennes Mountains, a left wing rural anti clerical stronghold with a strong Protestant minority. Communist traditions in the Red Limousine, the Pas de Calais, Paris proper, Nieve, Finister, Alps Maritimes, and VAR have been hurt significantly by demographic changes. VAR, Alps Maritimes, Finister, a loss of voters to the Socialist Party due to good local socialist infrastructure or strongmen. Nieve, Pas de Calais, Paris, or due to the emergence of rival parties on the radical left. The Convention for a Progressive Alternative, a party of reformist communists, in the Limousine and Val de Marne. There exists isolated communist bases in the rural anti-clerical areas of southwestern Côtes d'Armor and northwestern Morbihan, in the industrial areas of Le Mans, in the shipbuilding cities of Saint-Nazaire, La seine sur mer there are no more ships built in La seine and in isolated industrial centers built along the old Paris-Lyon railway the urban core of Romilly-sur-Seine, Abbey has elected a communist general councillor since 1958. 
During the course of the 20th century, the French communists were considered to be pioneers in local government, providing not only efficient street lighting and clean streets, but also public entertainment, public housing, municipal swimming pools, day nurseries, children's playgrounds, and public lavatories. In 1976, for instance, the communist mayor of Sarcelles, Henri Canacos, was named «best mayor in the Paris region» by Vie Publique a trade periodical for urban planners and administrators for enriching Sarcelles public spaces with new restaurants, movie theaters, cafés, more parks, a large shopping mall, and better transportation. Education also became, in the words of one text, an identifiable characteristic of communist government at the local level, a study of municipal budgets that was completed in 1975 but using data from 1968 found that while communist local governments spent 34% less than non-communist left governments and 36% less than moderate right governments for maintenance, it nevertheless spent 49% more than moderate right governments and 36% more than non-communist left governments for education and and educational support. Topic: Presidential. Topic: Legislative. Topic: European Parliament. Topic. Publications The PCF publishes the following Communist Days Communists Info Hebdo Weekly News Economy et Politique Economics and Politics Traditionally, it was also the owner of the French daily La Humanité Humanity, founded by Jean Jaurès. Although the newspaper is now independent, it remains close to the PCF. The paper is sustained by the annual Fête de la Humanité Festival, held in La Courneuve, a working-class suburb of Paris. This event remains the biggest festival in France, with 600,000 attendees during a three-day period. During the 1970s, the PCF registered success with the children's magazine it founded, Piff Gadget. See also List of foreign delegations at 24th PCF Congress 1982 Place du Colonel Fabian Louis Althusser's Reading Capital 1965 MRAP anti-racist NGO created in 1941 Roger Roche founder of a cell of the French Communist Party in Rufisque in 1925